We got to keep up the struggle. We have to keep up the struggle. And there's no better leader, no better elder to learn from than the great mama dear Reverend Annie Chambers. Give it up. Free Julius Assan! Free Julius Assan! Free Julius Assan! Let me tell y'all. Thank y'all for allowing Reverend to be here with you. <laughs> and my day was going good. It's going, it's good because I'm here. I'm here. But it makes my heart feel heavy when I can see that they still got their foot on my neck. All right. All right. It makes my heart feel heavy when I can't breathe. Because why is Julian, Julius Assan in there? Because he dare to tell the truth about this lie country that we stand up and wave a damn flag talking about God bless America y'all want to know what I pray every night God stop out the damn devil God move out the damn devil allow him to leave and flee you know who the devil is the Republicans and the Democrats all right, that's the devil. You sit over there in the White House and you ask me to be in the outhouse. That's what we need to do. We have filled some of our young people who feel that they have something to fight for. Why am I gonna go press, oppress somebody in Cuba? so that I can live. You see, I was around when the United States tried to kill Fidel Castro. And Fidel as a friend was a friend of mine. And then it's Robert that left here, I'm gonna tell him, damn it, Fidel was a friend of yours. He sent everything, all resources to the black movement in this country. He gave all that Cuba had to this country, to black folks. Everybody got resources from Fidel, quiet as it kept. Y'all, I know y'all like to put Martin up there, but Martin got money from Fidel. All right? Malcolm, my leader, got money from Fidel. Nobody else. But, and, and, and Quattis has kept, I can say it now, I don't give a damn, because I'm 81 years old now. Khrushchev sent Charles, sent us some money. Fidel, Fidel, you know, old Khrushchev, over in Russia, he helped the black movement out, children. So when you won't wave your damn flag and talk about you had to die, or you had to come and fight to get an education, that's because Still the feet was on your neck and you still didn't get a decent education because you're still out here acting like a ass. All right? You don't act like that. Everybody have a right to an education in America. That's one of your still main rights is education. See, because when you're educated, you can't enslave me. You can't keep me down. Any color. Yes, I, I don't, I, when somebody asks me, girl, we going to fight for affirmative action. I say, hell, I got more better things to do. Let's fight and say everybody got a right to an education. Education should be free in the richest country in the world, education should be free. You understand? There should be no homeless people. There should be, 
You talk about your, your, your fight and look at all the veterans on the street. Look at all the people went over there and oppressed somebody else in their country for the greedy, rich carpetbaggers here in America. Okay? All these people I see on the, you know, come up to me and say, I'm a veteran, Reverend, pray for me. I say, I sure is pray that you get some damn sins. I'm praying for you, brother. God knows I'm praying for you. Because I have said, and I'm saying now, because make no mistake about it, when Julius is starting to put out what America is doing, that's why they want to keep it quiet. They headed for a war. They keep trying to pick a wall right now. Look at how they keep jabbing at China. Jabbing at, how many times you gonna hit me and I don't hit you back? You understand? They keep jabbing at, there should be no blockade around Cuba. Yeah. There should be no blockade around Cuba. What is Cuba guilty of doing to America? Tell me what they, Except we down told black people, stand up and fight back and support it all. What is Cuba done? We gotta talk about what's happening here in America with the greedy carpet baggers and the Democrat and Republican Party and that fool we got now in the White House. You know, somebody said, who you gonna vote for? <laughs> um, I, I tell y'all, I mean, other than Ian and Jill Steins, there was one Democrat I, I did support. Now y'all know he old too. That's Bernie, cause he talked halfway. I figure if we could kick him, he might do some more things. Del, I got to be his delegate, okay? And then I seen him pull force with the Democratic Party. I seen the pull force of what happening at that Democratic convention, okay? So we have got to understand that we got to stand together. The way this country works is they can use one group against the other. And that's what they doing. They using one group against the others, or groups. They will tell the poor whites, cause they can't do that no more now, cause thank God your young people caught on to that bullshit. Um, they will tell the poor whites, oh you know, you don't wanna, uh, be with them because they blacks, they deserve what they get. So they give them a two or three more crumbs than they gave us. Or say, why is you gonna drink out that fountain? Or you you can come, you know, understand? They can't do that now. That's what I love. I tell y'all, I look at young people and I say, Lord, you lied me to stay here to see. I may not see the total change, but I'm seeing the change in the young people now. And I'm, when I say young, I'm talking about anybody that's under 60 years old. <laughs> okay? I'm talking about them. Because you get to see the difference in the way things were then to things now. And the lies that were told then cannot be told now. I watch in a meeting, how some Democrats came in and tried to incorporate some Hispanics. You understand? That's who they're trying to use now in the poll group. Oh, y'all come over here. We want to talk to y'all. And my thing was, hey, wait a minute. You said this was for the poll. Well, damn here is the poor queen hear me. So I'm going to talk. If you're going to talk to us, you're going to talk to all of us. You see, but we have 
got to talk about how America has the change. And y'all, I believe, I have faith that y'all young people will change it. Y'all will change it. Because we cannot allow America to go down the road that it's been going since the beginning of America. In the first place, they came here with a lie. They used the lie. They came with a press. And we have got to understand that we got to say no more. No more. No more, America. No more. Will we take this from you? We're saying all over when the young people come to me and, and you know, I, I, I support you, you know, I, I got a letter that I'm writing. I don't know how I'm going to get it to him, but I'm going to give it to the press and let the press ask the press what they printed to tell him how much I commend him and respect him for allowing himself to be on the front line and fighting for justice. Because that's what he's fighting for, justice for all. He's fighting for what's right for all people. That's what he's fighting for. That's what he stood up for. He's telling the truth on the lying America that we have. But I said to you, just I've been saying it because the, let me tell y'all, yeah, they said Reverend Andy Chamber, and I'm a Reverend. See, when people say, well, you're supposed to be, I said, no, don't tell me what I'm supposed to be. I know what I am. I'm not a bullshitting Reverend. I'm not a Reverend that do Sunday morning disco because I don't have time. I'm about my father's work. But I tell you, what the Holy Spirit, I'm going to leave y'all with this word. I'm going to leave you with this. Revolution! 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 We got to, we in a revolution. And we got to, thank you. Thank you. Reverend Annie Chambers, give it up from Baltimore.